Matt. Alinda. Alinda. Yossi. Yossi. Good to meet you guys and welcome to the Old Queen's Head in, on the Essex Road, <laughs> one of London's oldest pubs, in fact. Um, and, uh, and welcome to uh, like a, a, a little uh, a little scene of folk music that we have here. Cool. And I know you guys are, you travel around to a local place and play many different places. What's what the music scene that you you've been part of and that you've sort of traversed through in your journey? Well, in New Orleans, there's a, a really good community of, of musicians that play on the street a lot for money, mm -hmm. and also a lot of really great songwriters. And I feel like that's the the scene that we're really rooted in right now, so. Oh, yeah. where, where did you, where would you say you've cut your teeth and who's helped you, sort of who's been inspiration and, you know, been part of that, that learning process of uh, becoming a songwriter? Well, there's a lot of influences I have of people that are legends, you know, like Towns Van Zandt is somebody I really look up to, and also Neil Young, mm -hmm. and of course Bob Dylan, you know, everybody loves Bob Dylan. But when it comes to my friends in New Orleans, there's a lot of songwriters down there that have really inspired me and really encouraged me. There's a lot of song sharing at campfires that mm. happens, and that's something that keeps me going most of all, because you get to hear the, you know, the opinion of somebody that you really respect, and there's just a lot of encouragement to keep writing. So. I mean, that's, uh, that's always the wonderful when there's a scene and there's sort of lots of different interests. There's also an opportunity to be trying stuff out. Yeah. Is that, is that, where, is that where you sort of, uh, a lot of your first, first outings of new songs have, have, have happened? Yeah, I'd say a lot of it comes from hearing a song that a friend will write that I would never think of. You know, there's a lot of exercises that I try to do of just trying to write a song unlike any other song I've written. And sometimes it's a, a bad song, but at least you tried, you know, and it, it, it just is exercising your brain, so. Have you, um, have you seen, do your songs take journeys as well as they, as they travel with you? Do they evolve? Do they grow? I would say so. I say that they grow the most when I start to play them with the band, mm -hmm. because I'll bring a song to Yossi, and it'll be very bare bones when I come up with it, and then he'll add fiddle to it or he'll add a great rhythmic part and it really will take off from there so and what's it like living in new orleans because it's such a haven and there's so much music coming different influences uh -huh. it's wild <laughs> it's just like what people think it is living in new orleans is never boring that's for mm. sure and sometimes it's really hard and sometimes it is so beautiful you know there's a lot of hardship there especially after the storm. There's a lot of people that are really strong and are really trying to survive and to keep their families together. And that's something that really inspires me because you're around these people that have the strength that you feel like you could never have. And there's also just so many older musicians that are willing to play with younger musicians and are willing to teach you old songs. And that is something that's really helpful, is having a multi-generational community of musicians. Mm -hmm. so that's what I really love about it. Is that something you see elsewhere in the States as well? You know, not so much. I feel like in a lot of the, the music scenes in the States, it's very, there's the young people and there's the older people that play traditional folk music. Mm. Anywhere that you have a, a group of musicians that love tradition, then you'll see some mixing, you know, but in New Orleans, the the hip young people are definitely entwined with people that are older than them, and I think it makes it really special. Yeah, yeah. and that's something that's really strong in, in the UK, and, and maybe not so much in London as other parts, but there is this kind of continuity of the passing it on. Uh -huh. And some places there's a real hub. Yeah. Um, I mean, have you, in, 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 while you've been in the UK, have you got to hear much music yourself? Have you seen any of those sort of scenes? Well, no, we haven't really been able to go out that much yet. Mm. But uh, we did, we have been able to play with some really great people. Last night we played with a, a kid named Jake Bug, who lives in Nottingham. And that was really awesome to see a young musician who is from the place we played. And he was really amazing. So. Mm -hmm. But that we've still yet to venture out and see some traditional music. Okay, well, well, we'll probably have some here tonight as well. Oh, cool. Yeah, so and what's the plan? Where, where to next? Not necessarily geographically, but what, uh -huh. what's, your, what's your ambitions with this wonderful record that you've just put out? Well, this is our first time in the UK, so we're going to do this tour and then go back home and tour the States for the summer.
Mm. And we hope to come back this year. We hope to come back before January. So yeah. we're going to try to get it in there to come back. And we already have another album recorded. So we're going to start finishing that when we get home and yeah. hopefully release that sometime. So just coming back here a lot because we love it. So. <laughs> what's your, tell me just lastly, what's your favorite thing about the UK? What, how does it differ? What, what's, what do you find here that's really exciting that maybe you wish there was more of? People are really nice here. <laughs> They're so respectful, yeah. Uh, the crowds we've played to have been so respectful and mm. very into coming up and telling you that they appreciated the music and shaking your hand. And the handshake really means a lot, you know. In America, we don't really have enough of that, of people coming up to you after a show and you know, sometimes they're really drunk, so <laughs> there's a, it's a little harder to play to some, some crowds in America, but that's what I've really loved is the crowds here are so respectful. Yeah. Yeah. Good. A bit of British, British hospitality. Yeah, exactly. Fabulous. Well, I'll, I'll have to shake your hand now <laughs> in a very British sort of way. Um, can't wait to hear your, your music. Yeah, thanks, I'm thanks excited. Thanks for coming. We've got a really good crowd here tonight. Cool. will be buzzing. is a song that, well, it brought out a de dedication at a, a, another show, and this man must really love this woman because he asked us to dedicate it to her again. It's from David to Karen, and love is in the air. It's called the June Bug Waltz. to 
Where? 